I was very fortunate to go with Diana to um, Richard Branson's island, Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands. You know, there was Diana on this island at a difficult time, wanted this week to be alone. Literally half a mile across the lagoon at Byrus Creek were 60 to 70 of the world's press, media, paparazzi, whatever you want to phrase it. And uh, she said, I'm not giving any photo calls, Ken. I'm not doing anything. I said, I mean, it's not a problem for me. It's up to you. I mean, it's your choice. And then something changed, actually, that actually made things a lot easier. The uh, manager from the island just returned from neighboring Tortola with the supplies. And uh, in these supplies, he said, oh, he said, I'm, he was Canadian. He said, I've got some gifts for the children. I said, oh, what's that? He said, uh, I've got a couple of catapults. And I thought he meant these handout catapults. I thought, no, no, we, we don't want those. There's the last thing we want. No, but these were these massive, great uh, elastic catapults, you know, sort of inch square elastic with these huge pouches that you tie to two trees. And he had this sort of bag of balloons that you fill with water. And then you, and, and I thought, oh, maybe great for the kids. They can sort of have, you know, sort of target competitions. William heard all this and he came up to me, he said, Ken, he said, oh, I've got a very good idea. I said, what's that? He said, well, when mommy has to give um, a press opportunity, um, Harry and me and my, um, and my cousins, we can be on the cliff top and we, we can fire the balloons at the press. I said, you, you better go and speak to your mother about this. Anyway, Diana came back almost immediately. She said, and I'm a completely different frame of mind. So, Ken, I think it's a very good idea. So I said, so you're gonna do this press thing? Yes, why not? So the following day, this flotilla of small boats arrive. And they were delighted, of course, to be some of the best shots of Diana that ever came out in the sort of leopard skin uh, costume, etc. And then suddenly from the top of this cliff came the words, fire. So off the top of this came this sort of salvo of multicolored water-filled balloons that landed right in the center of this flotilla of, of cameramen, who, who, who interestingly found it incredibly amusing. And one of the balloons hit Whitaker. And of course, that was his pistol resistance because he then shouts up something, I've just been flayed by the future King of England. And of course, everybody started laughing on the diner on the beach, her mother, her sisters, her brother. It was an incredible experience, all because of William's idea.